munching away. And my husband did mention that he hated to eat his lunch when he brought it because you opening the bags and chewing the carrots and all of it. I won't hear it. I don't think these folks will either. So uh, welcome to the 10th and last of a series of organ recitals, not concerts. I'll tell you what, I retired last August and any of you who have retired know that time goes even faster. You only get half days when you retire. But, and, and I wondered, what have I done with my time? Well, I, I have done a couple of things that are good and very uh, selfish of me. It was for me. Uh, one thing was that I was in a play up at Oakley. I played the part of an old spinster, spinster living with her brother and family. And the kicker was that I had killed our parents when I was a youngster. <laughs> but the, nobody knew that until the very end. But it was sure a fun part to play a crazy lady. <laughs> Typecasting, I'm sure. <laughs> And the other thing was that I began these brown bag pipe organ uh, recitals uh, October 17th. Over eight months, uh, I played 10 recitals. I was supposed to play every other week, but I misspoke. And it was a little much for me, so I, I did tone it down. Uh, it is a little chilly in here, and uh, thank you, Sharon, for <laughs> turning up the heat a little bit. My hands are like ice for any of you that I've shaken your hand. It's like, whoa. Um, CDs might be available <laughs> uh, of, of this series, so if you're interested in that, let me know or John Johnson who is the uh, head, the director of our uh, radio station, 101.7 FM on your radio dial. <laughs> uh, the proceeds from this, the donations, are going to uh, help with the radio station. I welcome you all here. I see a lot of new faces. Uh, and those of you who supported me time after time after time, thank you very much for coming back and, and uh, making me feel, uh, feel good, feel good. Uh, I welcome especially our special guest musician, Kara Keller, who will be playing a harp, one of her harps, and... Uh, I'm, I'm really looking forward to that as well. Um, we had one other guest musician twice, and that was Stan Bruns. And that was, the first time was on his, what do you call the main flute, the, the silver one? A flute. <laughs> and he also played his Irish penny whistle, which was a real treat too. Um, I'm glad nobody's sitting over here in this section because it gets really loud when I open up all the stops. And I was going to warn you, you in this corner, I'm warning you now. <laughs> so if you move, that's fine with me. Uh, you'll probably, uh, on some of these songs, you'll hear the, the louvers. The louvers are kind of like a vertical Venetian blind and they open and close uh, to let the, uh, the, to make it louder or softer. And so you will hear them opening and closing on a few of these selections. All right, at the end of Saints Bound for Heaven, be ready and watch for the surprise at the very end. 
I tried this out on the congregation at church Sunday, and they were surprised. So, uh, so kind of be ready. <laughs> um, you might save the games in your program. If you didn't get a program, uh, put your hand up and we'll get you one or uh, go out and get one. You're out. Hold on a second. So anyway, you might save your games for Mendelssohn's Nocturne. <laughs> if you read his bio information in the program, you'll find, oh, hey Peg, <laughs> you'll uh, find uh, this piece is from A Midsummer Night's Dream. So uh, the busy work will help keep you awake. While listening, perhaps you can hear the horn that Mendelssohn intended uh, for you, uh, for the song to sound like, especially closer to the last movement. Uh, is it a trumpet? Is it a French horn? It's kind of fun to imagine what instruments in an orchestra uh, pop up. Well, God always expects us to give away and pass on what he gives us. So that is what we're going to do today. I pray that what Kara and I present to you gives honor to our Heavenly Father and is uh, ministering to your soul and to your needs. So. Here we go.
Thank you. And now our special guest, Kara Keller. And uh, I, I hope you all have a program now so you can see on the back of the program uh, a little bit of about her life and, and uh, where she grew up and what she's doing now. And, and if it's too loud over there for you, feel free to move. <laughs> Okay, so I really love a microphone, can you tell? Um, so one of the things that Judy asked me to do is not only announce my own pieces, but to introduce you a little bit to the harp. It's not a well-known instrument. Um, there's three different varieties of harp. So there's a lap harp. You'll see those sitting on your lap. There's the Celtic harp. And you can always tell those they have kind of a unique, more of a bent shape, and they're very, very short. And then there is your classical harp. So, and that is what I play. Um, and in classical harp, there are two different varieties. So there is lever harp, which is what is here. So the difference between a lever harp and a pedal harp, levers, lever harp has the levers up here and that is how I control and sharp and flatten the notes while I'm playing. Whereas a pedal harp, down around the base here, would have it has pedals. And as they said, I have um, both varieties. My pedal harp is currently under repair, but um, the pedal harp has the pedals down here, and it has got gears that are in the base that are wired up through the column, through the neck of the harp, and then there are your bridge pins where your levers would be, and that is what moves while you're playing and it sharpens and flattens the notes. And a quick little lesson here. One of my favorite things about harp, and Judy's over there. As I say this, Judy's gonna be able to out harpist me very rapidly because she's been reading piano music forever. You can play piano music on a harp very simply it's the same basic principle. But I love harp because my notes are color coordinated. <laughs> so um, as you've seen in the program, I graduated from BYU as a harp major. And on my very last final, they made you play on a harp with strings that were not color coordinated. And I hated life. Um, but a little lesson, the C's are red, F's are black, and then if you know your alphabet song and you've had any musical experience whatsoever, you can fill in what's in between. So that's a little bit about the harp. Um, it's a fun, calming instrument. One of my favorite things about it is I can hit a really nasty mistake and you won't know and it doesn't, it's not a violating sound. So um, as for the pieces that I'm going to be performing, I have a couple of dedications that I like to put out there. Um, the first one is to Stan Brums. Um, when I first moved here, my housemate told him, you know, she plays harp, she's musically inclined. And 
he's been including me and been buds with me ever since, even though I have yet to join the choir. Um, <laughs> but as I was, and I picked and kind of juggled around pieces that I wanted to play for him. And um, one of the ones that, the one that I actually ended up picking, um, I picked because it's, it's got kind of a special meeting, but also a little bit of a historic thing. So Nearer My God to Thee is what I've selected and I'm dedicating that one to Stan. But the reason I selected that is um, to be a musician or to be an instrumentalist or be anything up to the magnitude of Stan, it's incredible. I cannot compose music to save my soul, and he comes out with the most incredible compositions. But also, the historical portion of this that is kind of cool is it has kind of a selfless historical attribute. So USS Titanic in the sinking of that, the Titanic Orchestra, they actually stayed on the ship and continued to play to soothe and comfort those that were going to be going down with it. And that's kind of the same spirit that Stan gives to those around is he's a comforting spirit, he includes you and makes you feel loved. And so that was why I selected that one for him. Um, and then I have another dedication in there and that one's for my older brother And I've selected Beauty and the Beast for him. And he is one of the, without a doubt, the most beautiful person I know. He's my hero. I love my brother a lot. And he's had a hard year. He's been battling cancer. And so um, he's, he's going to mellow out that beast and turn it into something positive, but that's why I selected that one. And my final piece I selected was Skater's Waltz by Walt Tufel was the original uh, composer, but the arrangement for harp was done by Sherry Pack. So I hope you enjoy and thank you for inviting me, Judy. Thank you. 
especially enjoyed hearing those arpeggios that the harps are so well known for. 